Hey guys, my name is Bonnie. This is Artist in a Garden and today we're planting cattle panel trellises. I think it's like 13 degrees. What would that be? 50 something? 55 maybe? Great for working outside. I would much prefer being in a tank top in the hot sun. Hey guys, today we are planting my vine crops on my cattle panel trellises. So my garden has four cattle panel trellises, but actually one of them is actually only a real true cattle panel. This one here has the smaller holes in it and the other three panels that I have are actually hog panels. And let me show you the difference between a cattle panel and a hog panel. So they both look very similar. They are all 16 feet by four feet wide and they're made of this galvanized metal that is quite flexible. You can see that it gets a great arch on the top of it and it fits, uh, it fits well. This is a six foot span that they are on with my pathways through my garden. And uh, yeah, the cattle panel trellis has the smaller squares in it. And uh, let me show you what the hog panel looks like. So the hog panel has uh, wider squares on it. The bottom of them are a bit narrower and they're a bit longer. So I think that's to keep the little piglets in when you're actually using them for your livestock and then after you get past the first row they go into the the bigger openings so the plants they don't really seem to mind what shape the uh, the trellis is but they're both 16 feet long and four feet wide and same structure same material and I just I love the look of these cattle panel trellises in the garden and can't wait to get them full of vine crops this year. So, so. a lot of these cucumbers you can start uh, direct sow in the ground and you can succession plant them. I started them as uh, seedlings inside uh, about two weeks ago and uh, I've got some uh, well-established seedlings to plant in the ground. I find it a lot more satisfying planting a plant than I do planting a seed. I'm still going to do some direct sowing and, and get some succession planting on these cucumbers, but uh, today I've got some nice healthy seedlings ready to go in the ground and I'm going to get those planted here at this first cattle panel trellis. Gloves and a shovel. And yeah, there's caterpillars all over the place. Let me show you what these little caterpillars look like. So I applied some diatomaceous earth on the garden this morning just to try and get ahead of these uh, gypsy moth caterpillars that we've been dealing with here in uh, southern Ontario and uh, they are causing a lot of damage to a lot of a lot of gardens uh, well-established hydrangeas and trees and uh, it's it's going to be a bad year for us for these uh, gypsy moth uh, caterpillars so I've just pulled out one of my gloves and you can see that's the size that they are right now so they're about twice the size they were a week ago and they are on everything so i'm hoping the diatomaceous earth is going to get ahead of them in the garden let's get rid of these caterpillars off my gloves and get these cucumbers in the ground so these cucumbers are the straight eight cucumbers and uh, i've got a whole bunch of other armenian squash cucumber and cantaloupe and all sorts of other English cucumbers that I'm putting in the ground this year to grow up the cattle panel trellises. <clears throat> so cucumbers don't really like their roots disturbed a lot when you're planting. So I'm not going to separate these. I'm going to leave them intact and I'm going to plant this whole plant in the ground. As, it, as you can see the water, we had some rain yesterday. And because I'm doing it on a cattle panel trellis or growing vertically, I can leave them relatively close together. So I'm not too worried about splitting this plant up. I'm gonna get it as close to the trellis as I can. And then as it grows up, we will help it train it onto the trellis.
That is the air ambulance going into one of our local hospitals. We're on the flight path for one of our hospitals for the air ambulance. It's my day off today, planting in the garden. I feel like I'm in jail behind this. Can you see me? But I find it easier just to kind of work through and uh, plant through it. So let me show you my other cattle panels and at the bottom of this cattle panel trellis I have what are these ones these are the English cucumber so you can see how closely planted together we have the cucumbers and because we're planting up on a trellis they uh, they can go quite close together in the garden and they will grow up and fill up these trellises so over on this side i have armenian cucumbers and again you can see my shadow but you can see the diatonaceous earth that i've used uh, to, to try and get ahead of these uh, these caterpillars on here i have on this side of the cattle panel trellis or the hog panel uh, burpless cucumbers and then the same over here we've got burpless and the Armenian. These are my white night sunflowers that came out of one of my winter sowing containers. So in behind those, I have my zucchini. So we've got green and yellow zucchini. And this side of the cattle panel trellis, so we've got that one. Far one's got both kinds of cucumbers. And then this one will have cucumbers up this half. And then on this side, I've put the melons in this bed. So we've got watermelon on the far side and then some cantaloupe on this side. And I've left lots of room in between these melon plants. Hopefully the pest pressure this year will uh, will leave them alone and uh, we will have some melons this year. Last year I had a really hard time with the cucumber beetle. It's that little yellow and black beetle. So once they started to bloom it was crazy trying to uh, trying to keep those away so trying to be a little more proactive this year with uh, some of the pest control i've put nematodes in the garden so i bought a little package it comes on a sponge beneficial nematodes you put them in water and then you mix them into your sprayer and you spray the soil and around the roots and uh, the nematodes will help control any of the larva that attacks the roots and uh, up into the stem of your, especially vine crops. So the nematodes are a great, a beneficial, I don't think it's an insect. What would you, what would you call those? I'm not exactly sure. Nematodes are beneficial for your garden. So, and one of the other crops that I am growing on my cattle panel trellises this year are peas. So peas I direct seeded into the garden and they are probably a month worth of growth on those. Let me show you how the peas are looking right now. So we have uh, snow peas on this end and over on the far end we have snap peas and they are starting to grow up and attach themselves to the cattle panel trellises. So that's really exciting. Looking forward to having a great pea harvest this year. Yeah, so another crop that I will be growing on my cattle panel trellises will be beans this year as well. They will come a little later in the season. Well guys, that's my little update for you today. I'm excited to watch these cattle panel trellises fill in. I really enjoy the structure in the garden and how they look once they start to fill in with the vining crops and to have that fruit hanging down off of the trellis. That's my vision. I'm hoping it comes to fruition this year, but I will keep you updated on how it's going. Leave me a comment below. Do you have cattle panel trellises in your garden or what kind of trellis system do you use? Do you grow vertically? My name is Bonnie. This is Artist in a Garden. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.